Hi, I'm John Stewart, and I have the privilege of speaking about a very important figure in our history. His name is John Amos Cominius, and he is well known as the father of education. Um, some of his life details is that he was born on March 28, 1592, in Moravia, and he died. Um, November of 1670. One of the interesting things about when he died is that um, through many sources that I've looked at it claims that he died on the 4th, 14th, 15th, and 28th. I'm pretty sure no person has died on more than one day. So I think that his death date is a little bit under controversy so I chose not to put an actual date down but in all of the sources that I looked at, the birthday was actually the same, so that is one good statistic to put in. Um, he belonged to a Protestant church called the Unity of the Brethren, and two things that he was very well known for during and after his life is that he was a teacher and a writer. I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit about his church that he was a member of. It was established by Jan Huss in the 1400s or thereabout and Jan Hus um, basically established the church because he had a few disagreements with what the Catholic Church taught and in doing so um, he was actually burned to the stake but he was able to establish a church and keep it going for a few years before that happened. Um, John's parents were actually members um, before he was born and so essentially he was a member at birth and later on John became a bishop of the church. Um, a few more intriguing details about his life is that at age 10 his parents died and one of the incredible things about him if this could testify a little bit of his character is that shortly after he did go um, to many schools and learn many different things at each of them. And in 1614, he actually wrote the very first Czech encyclopedia. Um, one of the biggest um, things of importance to his life about this encyclopedia is that it confirmed many beliefs and ideas spiritually and educationally for him. In 1618, the Thirty Year War broke out and he had to flee from his country and go to Poland along with other men. While he was there, along with a few other people, he reformed the schooling system there. And the main book that he is most well known for is called Didactica Magna. And this book um, was probably inspired and change the schooling system in many areas of the world. The Didactica Magna um, basically outlined a system very similar to what we have when it comes to educational schools. Um, in the book it had schools set up similar to what we have as kindergarten, elementary, junior high, high school, college, university, um, just very many different levels um, for which children of different ages could go to and learn things appropriate to their own age. This was all in this book and it also focused on making education universal which um, at the time wasn't exactly considered because the rich people were the ones who were able to pay for and obtain an education if they desired it but in his book he focused on having the poor learning the exact same things as the rich and he also um, wanted both genders to learn um, the same things. And in this book, he, in, he wanted all schools to be teaching essentially the same thing so that there wasn't a contradiction to what was true or false. A few other things that he helped influence when it came to education is that he wrote the very first textbook. And considering that he wrote the very first textbook, shows that a couple centuries later we're still using textbooks in our learning as well as our teaching and this was a very great um, invention if you will um, for our day and age. It, due to all of these um, things that John Amos Cominius did do 
shows that he pretty much was the father of education. However, it wasn't until the early 1900s that people started to recognize his work, at least in America, and I've thought quite a bit actually lately to everything that he did do, and I think it's important that we don't waste his efforts and that we try to do the very best that we can in our own schooling. And this is basically my report on John Amos Cominius. If you have any questions or would like to look up where I got this information, I have it on a PowerPoint as well as a research paper that you'll be able to find online. Thank you.